hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel today's topic is about how to sort words in a string using sas to understand this better let's look into an example here we have a variable in which the words are not sorted and the final goal is to sort all those words as shown in here now let us quickly run our sample data set here i have created sample data set we do not have a function or call routine which can sort words in a string but we have a call routine known as call sort which can sort variables and now let us try to understand this through an example here here i am creating a data set and here i have variables in which the variable values are not sorted and by using call sort i can quickly sort all those variable values now here you can see that all our variable values are sorted and you can see here it is starting from bat and ending to sat but initially they were not in this particular order now let us quickly look into the strategy which we are going to use to solve this problem here first we are going to create six variables from this string and then we are going to sort the six variables using call sort and once the variables are sorted we are going to concatenate those sorted variables into a single string now let us look into how we can create lot of variables in this case six variables easily this we can do with the help of array regarding arrays i will be discussing only information which is required for this topic now what is an array array is nothing more than group of variables and they are also known as elements and defining array is also super simple we need to use the keyword array followed by the array name and followed by number of elements or the variables we want to create followed by the variables we want here we want six variables and we have named one after another as we want to create a character variable our character variables i have used this dollar symbol here and let us quickly run this code and see what happens here after running the code you can see that we have created six new variables call1 call2 call3 call4 call5 call6 and this code can be easily simplified and all we need to do is we need to change this array statement from this to this in here what we are doing is we are, we are giving a keyword array here followed by the array name and followed by the number of elements and also we are telling what kind of data type it should have here we are saying that it should have a character data type and we have not given call 1 call 2 call 3 call 4 call 6 whenever we don't do that and we just say elements here this automatically generates call 1 call 2 call 3 call 4 call 5 call 6 say if you are saying here 10 then it starts from call 1 and goes to call 10 now let us quickly run this code and see what it is doing now here in the result you can see that this also creates new six variables now let us try to understand couple of more concepts and then we will go into our problem statement here i wanted to show you one thing with the help of scan we can split each word and we can put it into a variable scan function is super simple function all we need to do is we need to say scan and the variable name followed by which word we want to extract followed by the delimiter which we want to mention here the delimiter is space that's why we are mentioning as 
space in here. So we can create six variables from these six words in a single string by doing scan. Now let us quickly run this. Here in the result we can see that we have extracted all the six words and we have put these values into new variables. So when we want the first word all we need to do is we need to put one here, second word two and so and so forth. Now that we have looked into scan function I want you to look into one last function which is also super duper simple that is count w function. Count w function tells us how many words are there in a string. Here we know that there are six words and this count w function does the same. Now let us quickly run this code too. And here in the result it tells us that there are six words in here. Now that we have discussed all the things we need for our problem solving, now let's quickly go into the code and see how are we going to solve this problem. Here I have defined an array statement here and the array statement is array call and then what did I do is I tell 6 and then dollar symbol. This is going to create call 1, call 2, call 3, call 4, call 5, call 6. Now let us discuss little bit more on array functionality to solve this problem. And here as we are defining array and call and this is known as array name. Array name can be utilized to access each of these elements that is call 1, call 2, call 3, call 4, call 5, call 6 and this can be done with the help of a do loop and here I am saying do i equal to want to count w before underscore sort. Here before underscore sort is our variable and it has six words in it as shown previously. So we are doing do i equal to 1 to 6. Now by doing this what we are doing is we are accessing each element in here that is here we are saying call i that is when i equal to 1 this becomes call 1 this means we are accessing this particular element and when call 1 is equal to scan before sort i i here is 1 and the delimiter we are saying is space. This means we are assigning the value of SAT to this call 1. When i is 2, this becomes call 2. This means we are accessing second element in this array that is call 2. And we are saying scan before sort. As we said i is 2 here, we are extracting the second word here and the word is rat. So we are assigning the value of rat to call 2. In the similar fashion we are accessing call 3, call 4, call 5, call 6 and by using scan we are assigning bat, cat, mat, eat respectively with the help of this do loop when it goes from 1 to 6. Now that we have created our variables and these variables also have the values which are there in this particular string. Now the next goal is to sort all of these variables. This we can easily do with the help of call sort which we have discussed earlier. Before going into the details of call sort, I just want to give a quick tip. Whenever we want to do any action on all of the variables or elements in an array, all we need to say of call star. This means we can apply a call routine or a function on all of these variables or elements by simply using of call star. So when we use call sort of call star, this is going to sort all of our variables. Now I would like to comment out this small portion of the code 
and then run this whole code to see what is happening in here and then in here we can see that we have created new six variables and all the values in here are sorted and the next thing is to concatenate all of these values with a space between each of them then we are going to have result exactly similar to this but we have the values which are sorted and now let us see how we can do this as i said to you earlier we can easily do any action on all of the variables in an array by simply using of call star so here i can simply use cat x and in the cat x function i am saying that the delimiter i want after concatenation with each variable is space and i am saying of call star this means call 1 call 2 call 3 call 4 call 5 call 6 they will be concatenated with the space between them and finally i do not want call 1 call 2 call 3 call 4 call 5 call 6 variables and also index variable i so i can simply drop them to drop six variables is super easy again by simply using call colon what this does is whenever we have any variables which has call as prefix they will all get dropped and i want all of these variables to be dropped and this serves the purpose for me now let us quickly run this code and here you can see that all the words have been sorted before finishing up this topic i would like to show you couple of more things instead of creating call 1 call 2 call 3 call 4 call 5 call 6 and then dropping them what we can simply do is we can simply add underscore temporary underscore here so what this does is it stores the elements in the memory and it no longer creates variables and now all we need to do is we need to drop only index variable i here and this is very efficient because the things are happening in the memory and now let us quickly run this here you can see that we have the same result with underscore temporary underscore now i want to tell one last thing that is i have discussed only about one observation say for example if we have two observations something like this here we have six words and also we have another observations with seven words in that particular scenario we have to remember that we need to change this value to the maximum number of words a particular observations have in this particular scenario that is going to be seven that's all for this topic if you have liked this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you